What's up, everybody? Welcome to an episode of Free Game. I'm sitting here with my boy Batch. What's how you doing, man? Hey, man, I'm doing fabulous, man. man how you, how your day been? Can I move this pillow to get some back support? Yeah, like get get what, get what get, you need. You need some that. extra pillows? Nah, just this one right here. Oh, we good. Oh shit, that's too much back support. <laughs> <laughs> can't sit straight up now. Over here with the art, like I'm about to start twerking. Hell no. Nah. No, we can't have no. I mean, I, I mean, mean hey, hey, do, hey, do what you do. Do what you do. You know. <laughs> Uh yeah, I'm good, man. Thank you for having me. Thank you for be- having me on here. Oh yeah, appreciate you coming, man. Um, let's get it started. You know, I'm a person that I can't introduce you like how you would introduce yourself. So right, tell the people who you is. Let them know what you want them to know. Yeah. So sometimes people are like, oh, he's an actor. Sometimes they say he's a comedian. He's a this. He's a that. Mm. I'm just an entertainer. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm an artist. Uh, you know, and uh, born in Toronto, Canada. Raised in the mean streets of Palm Beach, Florida. Mm. Palm Beach, gangsters and thugs. Type that in on YouTube.com right Palm now. Beach. Yeah, type it in. <laughs> pull it, pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> Show it right now. Uh, yeah, so from there and uh, moved out to L.A. about 11 years ago to start pursuing my dreams. Mm. That's dope, man. Uh, you know, this is the city where everybody come. Yeah, this is the city where everybody fail. Yeah, everybody, you usually go... <laughs> That's the crazy thing. Everybody ain't gonna make it. Everybody so any, ain't gonna make it. I always give if you out in LA and you surviving, you already in a yeah. percentage that everybody ain't in. It's like you out here, you doing your thing. Yeah. You paying rent, you getting by, cool. And mm-hmm. if you make it further than that, that's even better. Yeah, because it's it's and it's all about your mindset. Mm-hmm. Some people really ain't built for this life. Yeah, it's like they don't know what come with it. No, they 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 don't know how hard it is. And even if you do become successful, there's bad shit that comes with the success. Yeah. Like the people you got to deal with because you're successful. Exactly. Damn, that's fucked up. And then people don't even treat you like a regular person no more. Right. Now yeah. it's like you are this thing. Yeah. And they don't look at you the same. Right. So now it's yeah. like they recording everything you do. They looking at you a certain way. But in reality, mm-hmm. you a regular person. Everybody you, just people. You just trying to chill. Yeah. It's like you trying to have a good time. And they, hey. <laughs> but it's like that's what come with it, but that's yep. something that people don't see daily. And you know what I realized also in like relationships, like it can be harder because mm. all girls, some there's a, they're not all. There's some girls that are like, oh, I never date an athlete, or mm. I never date a, a celebrity, or I never date this, and then now you got now you got to <laughs> deal with that. Yeah, it's like come on, and they don't know what come with that. They can't you doing stuff like you can't be insecure. Get dating an insecure female because you're gonna be around beautiful and successful people, and if she's not secure with herself, that just adds, oh, arguments. You, oh, I know you talking to her. That's my friend. You can't even have friends. Right? The same. Yeah, they you can't. That's my friend. I mean, I'm fucking make... her, but she's still my friend. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just make things complicated. Yeah. You know, it's always it's always something. But like, yeah. Let me go into um. Let me talk about you as a kid. Like, what what was Batch as a kid? What was you hmm. doing? What was you? Your mindset. Man, I was crazy. I was a lot crazier than I am now. I do like just weird, like ah, like getting crazy like that <laughs> just for no reason, just by myself. No, I think I'm that's not all even. Kids. <laughs> I think. I'll... Yeah, but they. Yeah, like... they do that, but they do that like to other people, like boo, scared you, bitch. <laughs> but me, I was doing that to myself. <laughs> no key, I was too. Oh, it's like, ah! it's just, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It's like that's why we here though. It's like, is that what, <laughs> that's what it is. Like, you just being you. It's like, damn, why am I doing this? But it comes to find out a lot of people do that. They just Yo, hide it. Bro, this is this is what I tell people. If I wasn't an actor or an entertainer or anything like that, I'd probably be, like, in some kind of insane institution. Because, like, <laughs> I'm still going to do the shit I do. Yeah. I'll say, ah, I'm still going to go crazy. I'll still go do different personalities and characters. I'm going to mm-hmm. just do it on the sidewalk. Yeah, because that's basically, like, you look at movies, like, I think of a person like Jim Carrey is animated, he's an actor, yeah. great, Um, I love him, and seeing him do that, but if he was just a regular person on the street doing that, people would be like, what is wrong with you? Exactly. What is wrong with you? And yep. it's like, that's just something that come with it. Yeah, that's true. So uh, let me talk about the kid, like, what you wish you would have knew as a as a kid, being a young kid in the world, like, what you wish you would have knew that would have helped you along the I way? I wish I would have knew that... Do whatever your instincts tell you to do. Mm. Don't let nobody put no doubt in your head. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like, uh, and even like growing up, I kind of like developed that mentality as as I got older. But like, um, 
even growing up, you know, you you do something and then your parents are like, nah, I do this. And then, yeah, you do that. But then it'll still, you either be in the same place or in a worse place. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I feel like the, the the points where I got to where I needed to be is when I use my own instincts. Mm-hmm. Um, and especially moving out here, it's like, if you if we didn't go with our instincts, we wouldn't be where we're at today. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like when when Vine came out, and Vine wasn't really popular when I when I when I started on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, six second videos is kind of confusing, and people are like, "What are you doing? Don't do that Vine stuff. Mm-hmm. Like go go to these um go to these auditions and do this and and try and get an agent." I'm like, "Nah, I'm gonna do what I want to do mm-hmm. instinctually because I've developed that that mindset." So. You know, it's, I kept doing the Vine videos, and it just started to take off and take off and take off, and then that led to, you know, the, the agencies, and that led to the TV shows, and that led to everything, so yeah. And I think a lot of people back... Now it's more common. Mm-hmm. More people, the younger people, they probably doing... It's already been people who didn't did it, so that they know it can work and stuff like that, but mm-hmm. back in the day, a lot of people probably was reluctant because they was like... Why you on your phone? Like people used to say the same thing to me. Like you doing video, you wasting your time on your phone, blah blah blah. But yeah. it's like I always seen it as the internet is filled with millions of people. Yeah. And if some you get a little attention here and there, and then people spreading it, it's like bam. Now it's like okay, I can do something with it. Right. And like y'all was some of the first people like doing it because like Vine mm-hmm. was re- like YouTube was around, but it wasn't like. People knew people from new t- YouTube and stuff, but like when Vine came, that's when it was like yeah quicker yeah. and more people. It spread quick, and y'all really paved the way for a lot of people. Like I used to watch like you, Woody, Splack, and I'm like, damn, I can't. I need to get out there and <laughs> try to work with them. Yeah, and then came out here and stuff happened. So mm-hmm. you definitely can't listen to people because yeah. they don't see the vision like you see it. Exactly. Ain't nobody gonna believe in you like you believe in you unless yeah. they really see it in you before you nah. do. But but they worried about themselves, so they ain't really mm-hmm. worried about you for real. If you mm-hmm. think about it, everybody, oh, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. And that's why I don't, I don't like uh, hold anything past nobody, or I don't get upset, uh, upset at anybody because at the end of the day, they the main character in their video game, mm-hmm. and we the main character in our video yeah. game. So we can't get mad if someone's like, "Yo, man, I, I got you," and then they don't get you. Mm. It's because they're they're their own main character. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's like uh, that's why you got to do you got to learn how to do everything yourself. And that's, can't take stuff personal. Yeah, you can't take stuff personal. You gotta, you know what I mean? It's like yeah, you're not the you 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 the main one for you, mm-hmm. but they the main one for them. Yeah. So yeah, I love that. Now let's talk about batching high school. Oh, teenage back, a little man. older, a little more mature. Uh, what, uh, what, what, what he getting into? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he still wasn't getting no business. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't get no chicks. I didn't get no chicks till, uh, till my senior year. That's when it started In going. In college. <laughs> nah, I was kidding. Um, nah, it was... Because uh, I came from, you know, I, I went to a private school for middle school, mm. right? And then after that, then went to a public school. Mm. So imagine doing church on Tuesdays with your time. <laughs> every every day mm. since you're three years old till you're 13. Three to 13. Church, 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 church. Not a lot of curse. Not a lot of not a lot to really look at at girls like that. Mm. You know what I mean? And my my private school is so crazy. Homeboy got expelled. Check this out. <laughs> check this out. Check this out. This is why he got expelled. Check this out. <laughs> One no fight. <laughs> One no argument. Mm. Nothing. Homeboy got expelled because he brought a condom to school. Expelled. Expelled, bro. Bro, what expelled. Grade was it? He was in like seventh grade, seventh to eighth grade. Expelled? Expelled, bro. For a condom. For a condom. Was it open? It wasn't even Magnum. So he being <laughs> safe. So he being safe and got expelled. Yeah. And he just brought and let me let me tell you let me tell you how how else okay <laughs> when someone said a condom they said yo Sam got expelled for a condom I said what's that they said <laughs> yeah I said what's that he said it's protection and for four years bro I thought this nigga brought a gun to school <laughs> <laughs> I thought this nigga brought a gun to school <laughs> like damn is our school that dangerous <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, asking questions. Yeah, so uh so yeah, um uh, but th- so I go from that to um to 8th grade and 
I remember the first day I was trying to get my orientation right, look where everything's at. And the bell, the bell is about to ring. We got like 10 seconds for the bell. Bell, bell's about to ring, and I, I'm running. Nigga gotta get a class. Nigga gotta get a class. Nigga gotta get a class, right? And then uh I see this this uh guy and he just chilling. Bam, bam. I'm like, hey man, you're gonna be late for school. <laughs> you're gonna be late, you're late for class. He man, I don't give a fuck. And I said, oh. I looked around, I said, this nigga cursed. I was looking around like he, he you can't say it. <laughs> Bro, for real. I was looking like that. And then um, and then then I started to get roasted. They used to roast me. And then I had to adapt. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You had to, you had, you gotta adapt around black people. You gonna yeah. get depressed. <laughs> so then I started to uh I started to hang with the uh with the black kids at the school. And uh and yeah, just then my swagger finally started to come in. Uh, I still wasn't getting no chicks though. <laughs> but my swagger started to come in. Mm. And then uh and then yeah, I was like I was like one of the cooler kids in the in the school. So you felt like more accepted once you started like, oh, this is what y'all. I okay. didn't know. But you just got so what did you get exposed to that you wasn't exposed to? It's like, oh, I ain't know. Uh what you mean? Oh, in school? Yeah, like what did they? You gotta be. How did, what conf, how did they bring you confidence? Like what gave you the confidence? Oh, like I saw how they dressed, how they walked, how 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 they talked, um, how they talked to girls. Uh, everything was just was just chill, laid Smooth. back. We have a homeboy, Stormy Butler. Hey, shout out to my dog, Stormy Butler. That nigga was smooth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He walked with his chin up all the time. Confident. <laughs> Confident. I'm like, nigga, can you see? <laughs> he was just like this the whole time. Mm. Um, and uh, and 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 yeah, it was just like it was just that swag that I started to pick up. And I didn't have all of that because you can't mm. just get it like that. So I yeah. had a hybrid. And I think that's where my personality comes from. Mm. Um, so, so yeah, it was like, you know, I saw how they treated, how they did this, how they roasted, how they did. Yo, whoo. You get roasted back in the day. Oh, yeah. High uh, school. Yeah. High school. My boy right here went to high school with me. Like, oh, for real? People used to throw the jokes. The best joke a dude ever said to me, Jamario. <laughs> The dude named Jamario, if you out there, he said, you know, we going back and forth with the everybody laughing over. He said, he was like, he was like, man, shut up, you look like an African mask. Pulled up an African mask, look just like me. <laughs> and everybody dying. I'm like, you know what, you got it. I I quit. I quit. It was over after that. It's like, once it, it's like I can how quit can he with find it. That? It's like, yo, Africa, you can. He was so quick with it. it Bro, was like, how no, he find that? Yeah, it's like, yo, you really thought he you had to have that one in the back. DM me, let me know something. I want to know where you got that joke at. Damn, that's crazy. I still remember that joke to this day because it was good. Damn, they used to call me P head, right? <laughs> and I remember I got roasted too. This guy, uh, yo, something, something, something. Batch so sick. Uh, I had my head shaved. It was like bald. Hmm. He's like, uh. His, his head's real bald, and he grabbed me like that, but boom, he said, so I can get more grip, and he started doing this to my head. I was like, hey, I was like, get the it's fuck like, off me. Yo, it's like, I ain't gonna lie, kids, teenagers mean, but it's like, I think you need to, if you deal with it, you be more prepared for real life, because right. when you get grown, people don't give a fuck about right, you. Right, right, right. It's like yeah. a kid in public, people will give a fuck about mm -hmm. A grown-ass 30-year-old adult. Man, get yeah, your ass yeah. up, blah, right. blah, blah, blah. It's like, it ain't the same. So it's like, you got to be prepared on how to deal with people that do interact with you a certain way. Yeah. And it's either you can be tough or just ignore it, Don't, but don't be like, oh, then that right. crying shit ain't going to yeah. do it. It's like, it no, nah, you got to, you can't. If you cry, it's a rap. Public school, you can't, ain't no crying. You got to throw, you either throw joke, but they don't mess with everybody. Like, if you real quiet, like, they don't really mess with you, but it's like, yeah. if you want to, Try to get attention. You talkative. You gonna yeah. be a target. Yeah, like, you, man, know. you don't set your. <laughs> they're analyzing when they. Uh, <laughs> when you they know do when that, that when that hand come, nigga, run. We went to a school with. Thank God they had dress code because I ain't had hella gear. So yeah. they, we had dress code. Uh, if we didn't. Oh yeah, it would be a different story. I don't know what would have went on. Yeah, but what you, what would you? Wish that you would have knew in high school that would have helped. Like, damn, if I would have knew this in high school, um, would have been better off. I mean, I think everything kind of happened the way it was supposed to happen. 
Um, I was a part of this thing called CTV, and I started doing the, the uh, school announcements. Mm. And uh, they would play on the TV every day at school. I think I was like ninth, ninth grade, tenth grade, something like that. Yeah, probably tenth grade. Mm. And uh, and then that was like my first look at what it's like to be a celebrity, mm. nigga. Yeah? <laughs> every because everybody has to watch the school news, mm. and I was me, mm. you know. Right? So I was doing skits for the school news. So I mm. was like. Tenth, so I'm a, I started doing skits in in tenth grade. Mm. You know what I mean? Just what doing, year was that? I don't even remember. Um, so you been in the game? Hey, your boy you been, in the, been game, in the game, bro. <laughs> so we was making skits. We do we, and we didn't know how to do skits. So mm. we just recreate the Chappelle show. <laughs> so we just do all Chappelle show skits. <laughs> it's like uh, P P uh, make sure you pee sitting down. I, somebody said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Daniel Gus. Shout out my boy Daniel Gus and told the nigga to pee sitting down. <laughs> So we did uh we yeah we did a real world uh real world road rules whatever we did a parody the black version so we was we was bullying uh this one kid and uh yeah so we was doing stuff like that right mm. and that would play in front of the school all the time as well as all right uh, uh the school has won against this basketball team the school has lost against this basketball team so we was doing all of that so people mm. had to watch so they knew what was going on uh with the school so I remember the first day I did it, I was like, oh, that was fun. and Because we did practice. We practiced for like three months before we actually started because it was actually a class. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, after after the first day, just walking in the, after the first one aired, just walking in the hallway, people started coming up. Oh, that's the guy from the news. That's the guy from the news. I was looking, I was like, yeah, you got damn right it is. <laughs> started signing Every autographs. Every day at 9.30 a.m. <laughs> In whole room. Yeah. I started uh, signing autographs and stuff. Mm. Um, and then that's when I saw, like, the first the first taste of, uh, of what fame was. Mm. And I was like, yo, that that's cool. Mm. Yeah. People knowing you, for, and especially when you just being you, having fun. Yeah. 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 And then I knew, like, oh, I'm on the right path. So that's why I say I would never really... Uh, change anything I've done or 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 what I what I thought with my instincts because it's like um did someone just die? No, I think that was the garage. The garage? The garage screams every time you open it. Oh! I think I think I, I think it might need a little oil. Yeah, that you know, thing needs some oil on. Need a lot it's of oil. It's crazy how they'll charge us all this rent, do all this, but you can't even oil the garage. <laughs> yeah. All of this and you can't oil. You can't oil the garage. Well I'll be damned. Well, all right, we didn't cover high school. So now let's talk about adult batch. Oh, college like batch. What? Oh, college. College batch with them breed. Yeah, which one my camera? They're right there. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. College batch was a different breed, baby. Mm. Um, yeah, it was like, you know what I mean? It's like I went to Florida State University right across the street from FAMU. Um, and... Uh, Splat went in FAMU. That's how I know Splat. Mm. Uh, and uh, that's where y'all met it. Y'all met. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were uh, fraternity brothers. So I was in. Um, I was in. Uh, uh, was it finance? Yeah, finance, finance business school. Mm. Um, and uh, I'm a part of Phi Beta Sigma. Um, and Splat is as well. So that's how we met. And if y'all don't know Phi Beta Sigma, you know what I'm saying. That's a black fraternity. You know what I'm saying? We get down. What to get down? You, you dig what I'm saying? Blue fire, you know. And uh, it was like, that was real look at what it was like to be out here. To be out in the streets. We had yoga parties. We had uh, we Yo. had blue party where it was like, we had this thing in our fraternity. We had this thing called Blue Juice. Mm. <sighs> that Blue Juice will get you lit. <laughs> Uh, college is a different beast. College because is a different beast. I think in high school you limit it to people in the area. Mm -hmm. College is people from everywhere. So mm -hmm. now you and people not giving a fuck because it's like, oh, I don't know y'all for real. And so you it's know, like, what's, you know what's crazy? Mm -hmm. I met now that I was, you know, I was like, uh, I got into my roots in 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 high school. Then I met people who went to private school for their whole life. <laughs> I was just bullying them the whole time. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I got to stop. Because you don't realize, like, that there's a certain percentage of people that really do that their whole life. Mm. And so, they don't be exposed to stuff. Yeah, they don't be exposed. So I go in there and I was just like, it's just so easy to roast. <clears throat> and I had to, like, really, like, set myself back and say, yo, I got I to gotta do better. 
and like really embrace this kid. So you learn lessons like that because you can go one way, you can go one way or the other way. I think college teaches you that, teaches you how to be a human. You know, you know, fuck the uh, the the school and the learning. I don't I don't use none of that. Yeah, I don't use none of that. I mean, maybe some of it. I mean, you, but not really none of it. I don't even use the math geometry. What was geometry? They needed to the hate it. College delete math. geometry, bro. Business math is pointless. It's you never pointless. use exponential. Like what? Who uses that? They, Scientists. Yeah, I wanna. I, we going on strike. Wait, can we do anything? We can't do nothing about it. No, we can't do it. We <laughs> can start a college and have an actual curriculum. Oh yeah, yeah. Give, we gonna start a college on y'all. Don't fuck around. Yeah, where is gonna be at though? Uh, Cornell University. Wait, it's already exists. Damn. Oh, um, yeah. Cornell Second University, bitch. That, we gonna add the bitch. They, they don't got no bitch. We, we ain't gonna be able to go D one with the bitch. Oh, yeah, though. Yeah, we gonna yeah, be yeah. have to go D two. Oh, okay, uh, Cornell D one University. Yeah, Cornell D. Yeah, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't do that. <laughs> We but, just gonna we gonna brainstorm about yeah, the university. Yeah, we, we gonna come we gonna back brainstorm. to y'all, but it's gonna happen, bitch. <laughs> All right. But yeah, college really do shape you and expose you to more. Um, mm-hmm. cause me growing up in Cleveland, going to college, it was like way different. Cause you get people from all these different backgrounds, and it's like, mm-hmm. damn, people grew up different, and it opened your eyes to the world. It's like. I'm talking to my friend from Africa, and he telling me what he... I'm thinking I'd have been through some shit. He telling me what he been through, and yeah. I'm talking to my friend from Switzerland or other... Romania. I was talking to a mm-hmm. dude from Romania. He was like, oh, we was... I'm like, y'all ain't get... They had to go to sleep at a certain time. Couldn't watch TV. It's like, yeah. the world is crazy, and it opened you up. So I think college... The experience is what shapes people. Like, college... Mm-hmm. I ain't graduate... I don't, do you graduate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Well, yeah. you graduated. I didn't graduate, and yeah, I mean, but you, you, you know, I, I, listen. I did. How many years you did? What was your bid? I did like a good four and a half. Four and a half years. Yeah. Oh, you I, did the whole thing. But I didn't graduate because that first year I was bullshitting. Right, right. So bullshitting. it's the same thing. I did four years too, and it's like out of those four years. I don't use maybe maybe okay. I use five minutes of those four years in something, <laughs> but I don't really use nothing. You went for what finance? Yeah, yeah. I went for marketing. I mean, I use a little. I guess I do market myself in a way. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But that's just me. I think mm-hmm. that's more being connected to people, knowing what people want and right. how people are, rather than college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. But yeah, we gonna now we gonna take it after college. Now let's take it like. After college, now you like more grown. Now you getting yeah. into the into acting. That, it's like you trying to figure out what what mm-hmm. was something you had to like see yourself through. So I think um, I'm always like uh, thinking outside of the box. So you know, you come to LA, you gotta do all these auditions. <clears throat> you gotta do all these auditions. You gotta do uh, uh, you know, you gotta try and get an agent and all that. And I tried all that, and I was failing at it. Um, and I was like, <clears throat> I saw something I auditioned for and I looked at it and Don Cheeto got that role. It was like a little small, whatever role. <clears throat> and I'm like, there's no way Don Cheeto auditioned for this role. And the same thing happened. Marlon Wayans. Like, there's no way these guys are auditioning for these roles. And I was like, oh, they got names. That's why. Mm. You know what I mean? So I was like, how am I going to make a name for myself? And they're not going to let me make a name for myself. So then I started like just trying to make videos as a demo reel. And then when I started doing that, it was on YouTube. Then it started to get a little fan base, whatever. And then, uh, and then, yeah, that's when I just kept going with it. And after I did that, then the agency started to call, then TV started to call, and the movies, and da 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 And then, yeah. <clears throat> Amazing. Amazing. You believed in yourself. I believed in myself. You know, a lot of people don't no believe one... in themselves. Yes. Would you tell people to believe in themselves? Um, it depends. Cause some people, y'all, y'all really you gotta shouldn't. Know. Have, you gotta know. You gotta know. Some people, y'all really shouldn't believe in yourself. It's like some... I ain't about to be no football player. Yeah, I ain't like, no half. Yeah, back. don't do that. You know what I mean? Don't don't you don't believe in yourself. You can believe in somebody else. You <laughs> believe find in your some... abilities. Yeah, believe in your abilities <laughs> and your talent, but don't believe in yourself. <laughs> It's like, and it makes sense because it's like you can believe in yourself, but sometimes you, pro- it might not just be for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
That's true. And I don't think so. When do when do you be like, oh yeah, this ain't it? But like, because some people have been acting and been homeless and this and that. So it's like they ain't. Yeah, I mean, but maybe they had it, just didn't have the opportunity. And that there's so many success stories that people think they're gonna make it. They success story ain't your success story. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just because Halle Berry slept in a the car, then made it, don't mean you're gonna sleep in the car and make it. Yeah, like. <laughs> That's true. You know what I mean? Everybody can't make it. Everybody can't make Everybody it. Everybody can't make it. That's Halle Berry. How did she get Where I'm, I used to love Halle. Well, I still do, low yeah. key. She single? I probably. I heard I heard she I don't want to say like, oh, I'm gonna shoot my shot and she married. I don't disrespect the marriages. Well, she's single. I guess we both shoot our shot at the same time. Oh, you can't shoot it at the same time. All right, you wanna go first? No, she go what did she see? Yeah, that's what we shooting our shot. No. Wait, All right, I'm going to do it then. Hey, what's no, up? You, no, I'm going to hey, go first. Hey, Let me hey, go first. Hey, come on. No, I want Halle. Hey, hey, what's Halle. your favorite Halle Berry movie? Swordfish. Look, take your dog. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Halle Berry. 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 She was in James Bond. See, you too young. See, you too young. <laughs> Hallie, the no. nigga too young. He didn't no. even know you was a Bond girl. It ain't nothing but a number. <laughs> like. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. But uh, yeah, Halle Berry, she, uh, yeah, it's like her success story is her success story, but it's mm. like people be comparing themselves to other people too much and it's it like. Your journey is your journey. Exactly. Because I ain't never sleep in the car. Neither did I. Have I ever slept in the car? No, I don't think so. Come on, that I counts. Took a nap. Drunk. This nigga <laughs> slept in the <laughs> car. He had to think. It, if you gotta think about it, your ass slept in the car. <laughs> no. I probably did been drunk or took a nap, but nah. I, ain't never, I ain't never live out of think a car. You took a nap for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga woke up from a nap fully rested. <laughs> Yo. I know too many people. If I ever get to the point where I'm homeless and I ain't got nobody else to go to, <laughs> yeah. I'm beating everybody ass. <laughs> I'm pulling up to doors. Ain't no way in hell. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. What What you think will happen? Will have to happen for you to get to the point where like you really ain't got shit. Um, and I, nobody I, helping you. Like, what did nobody? you do? Oh, like, what had, did you have to do? I had to do something crazy. I just had to do something crazy. <laughs> Like someone, someone, someone must have had like, yeah, I had to do something crazy. I don't even want to say it. I don't want to speak it into existence <laughs> because if that shit happened, <laughs> then it's like, oh, this nigga manifested it. It's like, oh my god, all this time he was faking black. He white. Oh. <laughs> he peeling his skin like, oh, <laughs> this is the first time. <laughs> no, but um, funny. talk about adulthood. What is one thing? Or a couple things, whatever you want to say, as an adult, that you wish you would have knew. Like, whether it's, like, career-wise, relationship, family-wise, like, what you wish you would have been better at or knew that would have helped a lot. Yeah, I think I, I it was, it's really just, like, doing what you want to do, doing what makes you happy. Because at the end of the day, no matter what you do, you could be... Um, the owner of an accounting firm, you could be the owner of a clothing brand that's really successful. If you're not happy doing it, then it's pointless because when you die, none of this shit goes with you. Mm. Uh, you gonna you gonna die and then you are gonna be all, you know what I mean? You gonna be you gonna die sad. Mm. Whether if you live your life to the fullest every day, you gonna be happy. Yeah. So it's like, what's the point of it all if you're not having fun? Yeah, living in the present. Yep. I think we always talk about it like I don't think enough people live in the present. They A lot of people sad or anxious because they living in the past of mm-hmm. things that already happened that they can't change or they looking toward the future, the stuff that's not even here yet. It's like, oh, what if? It's like, no, take care of what you have to take care of now. Yeah. And everything else will work out. Exactly. Simple. Exactly. Easy. Mm-hmm. It's like if I knew this at 12. Mm. It'd be a wrap. <laughs> It'd be if a If I was 12 with the same brain. Th- I seen a meme. I seen a meme. It say, would you rather get uh, $50 million or go back to being 10 years old with everything you know now? Oh, I'm going back. You going back? Hold on. You said I- $50 million or a go back? Yeah. $50 million now or a go back. Well. Ah! 
I might just take the fifty million. <laughs> Because said, like, said, if even I with everything the, I know, I still wouldn't make no. Because it's like million. going back. Then I gotta relive. That's the thing. Like I wouldn't go, go back. Go through nine eleven. I was scared as hell as a kid when nine eleven happened. Yeah, but happened. you know now. The only the <laughs> only reason I wouldn't go back <laughs> is because my parents whoop my ass. <laughs> I, I can't, bro. I no, can't. but but they're not gonna whoop your ass because now you're gonna no, be good. You see, gonna, even you when I was good, them. I would get my ass whooped. <laughs> yeah, my sister would frame me. <laughs> Oh, that's si- that yeah, sibling. I, siblings I, hit I different. Like people that don't have siblings do not know the but rivalry this is what I you do. have. This is what I do when I go back, nigga. <laughs> I I'm not gonna invent the iPhone, no, nigga. No, I ain't gonna. That's that's still hard. I can't go back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go back this, to this. this. I got an idea. We need to make an iPhone. Yeah. How you could do it? Yeah, no, I got the blueprint. Yeah, I see. I can't. Then mm. then another thing gonna do it. They gonna kick me out like Facebook. I ain't gonna invent <laughs> Facebook. None of that, bro. Mm. I'm gonna invent the mop. <laughs> and then the new mop, the, the one that you swim, swim, that nigga. Of oh, every, swim yeah. I'm gonna invent that, bro. Like, like I'm gonna yo, be you a know billionaire how, still. You know how fed up somebody had to be <laughs> to invent the mop? <laughs> somebody was bent over, wiping the floor. It was like, I am tired of this shit. They built the stick with, I don't even know what mop. Is what's that? It's just wood. No, the the, the thing oh, on the, the end. string. What is that? I don't even know. We don't even know we use Damn, it. I, that means I can go back. I want to be able to invent the mop. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I'm gonna be useless. All right, what can I invent? Bottle of water. Nigga, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> Like don't crack. <laughs> oh my god! That's but funny. <laughs> all right, this is where we go. Yeah. Hold on, let me g- gather myself right quick. Yeah. Ooh, he said the mop. What? <laughs> water? When was water? Hey, search that Google when water bottles yeah, came out. Google when water is gonna say 1763. I mean, to be honest, we don't even really know if this. What is this tap water? They just heat it, it up probably, in the microwave. Bro, they in <laughs> they the micro- boil this shit. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I seen some stuff on the news. They got this restaurant because that's what they was doing. Mm. They would go, they'd say, hey, would you like the Dasani? And then I guess someone uh, did research on it and went out back and saw it. They would take the Dasani bottles, take the hose. <laughs> <laughs> they filled up their bottles with hose water and it was feeding it to the clients. No lie. As a kid, we used to drink out the hose. Well, yeah, we drink out the hose. But like, why was but we? But we metal, do it on purpose. That, that was metal. That more water tasted like metal. Yeah, and we did not care. But we didn't know. Our systems was filled oh, with yeah. what is what is that on the edge of a water uh, hose? The rust. <laughs> yeah. Uh. We really drinking out the hose. And you know some of these kids did. And you know somebody's <laughs> thumb was on it at one time. Cause you know what <laughs> yeah, do that. Oh, yeah, to make it flow. Yeah, to make it flow. And you know their fingernails be dirty because they've been digging in grass all We've day. We've been outside all day. Damn. How do we have all of this energy drinking Damn. out of a hose water? Damn. And, was put, and you know that they was putting stuff in that water. You know they was. That water used to hit at seven. Oh, my God. That water used to hit different. <laughs> you outside all day. Yeah. Don't let nobody break a fire. Fire hose, oh, fire hose to extinct. You, What's you something called? Fire hydrant. Fire hydrant, and you bathing in that thing. But bathing. all right, um, we gonna end it now. Matter of fact, no, we gonna end it. What do you want to? Um, what is one message you want to give that'll apply to anybody? It's like this is your life up until this point. Message. It's like all right, this is what if I was going tomorrow. This is what I would want y'all to know today. What is that message? Yeah, if you gonna um. If you're going to try and do something, do it. Don't be afraid of failure, but also don't be delusional. Mm. You know what I mean? Sometimes that shit just ain't for you. Sometimes you do need to get up. Try something else. Do something else. Be something else. Mm. You know what I mean? Like You might not make it to the NBA, but if you like 6'8", then keep trying. But if you 5'8", Ah, <laughs> not everybody gonna be Muggsy Bowles. Not everybody gonna be Nate Robinson. But you might. I don't want to tell you to give up. But you, 
that's like, should I give up? <laughs> <laughs> but you watching this right now. <laughs> but you watching this right now. You've rapped for 15 years. And ain't had more than 10 views on your SoundCloud. Is you not being supported or do you just suck? And that's what we're going to end it on. Hey, I want to thank you for coming, my brother. Thank you for having me.